Hi there! In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to tidy up those URLs. We don't always notice that the pages we're creating don't have the most sensible URLs at the ending, which means when we hook them into our website we get quite an untidy navigation bar. Changing this URL will break external links to this items page and rightly so. It will, but that's the point of this tutorial. We're gonna go through the motions and so you can learn how to fix it. Hi, I'm Ali Jane Selwyn. I help overwhelmed Kajabi users move forward in their online businesses and towards the life that they wanted to create when they invested in the platform. Okay, what we're looking at here is a mock website that I quickly pulled together. You'll notice it's covered in the Kajabi branding and that is absolutely fine because what we're focusing on now isn't the design, we're focusing on this URL. So in the top bar here, you can see we have our website domain, but what we're looking at is the URL handle we're following it with. So this home page is home-tutorial-random-url-1 because let's face it, when we're creating, these URLs can get out of control. So as I click through these many navigation bars, say I go to about, this is what our visitors will be seeing. These untidy URLs that make our website a little more unprofessional than perhaps it could be if we had tidy URLs. So how do we resolve this without breaking anything? First, I'm gonna to go to pages so we can see behind the scenes. You can see at the top here, the pages marked tutorial. That's what I've created to simulate this situation. And I might add, it's a situation I see time and time again. It's so normal to find yourself in this situation when web design or Kajabi isn't your natural skill set. So let's go to the about page. Three little dots at the far right, if you can click on those and then down to edit details. Now, here you can see the culprit. We've got this rather untidy URL handle. And you can see below that Kajabi is alerting us that changing this, blah, blah, changing this URL will break external links to this items page, and rightly so. It will, but that's the point of this tutorial. So let's change from this URL to forward slash about. Much tidier, much shorter, and much more reflective of the actual page. So going back to the website, we can now see that the about page is saying page not found because this link is trying to collect this web address, which we changed. So now this is something we need to fix. If at this point you aren't seeing a page not found message, it's not unusual. It might be set up in such a way that Kajabi is automatically collecting the new URL. However, let's explore the situation where page not found is what you're seeing. So going back to the main Kajabi overview and clicking on navigation will bring us to this point. I want you to find the menu bar that you have set at the top of your website. So in my case, I know it's this one under custom menus, menu tutorial. If you struggle to find the right one, I want you to look at the order of the links you've got at the top, such as home, about, coaching, contact is mine. And I can see I've got home, about, coaching, contact and default members, none of the others match. So by the process of deduction, we know that this is my menu links. So the about. If I click on the edit button next to it, you'll see that it's set up to point to a URL. And that URL is the one we changed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to adjust it and save. And that will automatically update across the website. Going back to the main overview and clicking on about will bring me the same message. But if I refresh the whole page that I'm viewing in the browser by the, in my case, circular arrow in the top left, it's gonna refresh everything. And if I click on about now, it will bring me to the about page, so we fixed it. What else would we need to check when changing a link URL to a page? We would want to make sure that anywhere we're using that link throughout our website is updated. 
What I mean is anywhere throughout the website is we're going to have buttons throughout our website, those clickable buttons, such as this one I'm adding in now. Learn more about us. If you are using a URL such as this, you're going to want to make sure the handle is up to date. However, if you're linking again to a landing page, for example, you're not going to need to because it's going to draw in the latest URL. Um, the only other places you're going to want to look to fix is any links in a blog, perhaps, that you're pointing to anywhere external. So if you have pointed to the about page from your social media profiles, again, not necessarily a strategic recommendation, but just an example, you're going to want to go into those profiles and update them. There we go. I hope you found that helpful. Any questions, let me know below. I'm here in the wings and very happy to help. I need a houseplant in here. I'm missing some foliage. <laughs>